dear Aries, this reading about is about what the person most on your mind would want to happen between you two. With me, Queen of Cups, Tarot. This reading will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. And for Aries, this will be a reading about what the person most on your mind wants to happen between you two. Can often be a conflict between head and heart and this will be revealed here together with the most likely action they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. I will also reveal what they would tell you if they dared to tell you the truth with the brutally honest oracle cards. For a cross, cross watcher this reading will most likely be about where the Aries person's thoughts and feelings are at. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. And I usually, usually read for the empath side of the story. Also remember that the other person holds your shadow that you mirror out to the world so you can be able to see it. In the end, you need to use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this general reading for you. If you want to watch the channel's readings in advance and ads free, you can become an extended member to the channel. I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week and personal readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check out the different levels through the join button or follow the link in the description box to learn more. And for this reading, I'll use the Telemata Roa and I will start shuffling your cards. When I open your deck here, I see Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So this is a person being very focused on living their best life to um, getting to where they want to go. Might be very focused on career or money or just getting ahead in life or building themselves a beautiful, uh, stable situation with um, maybe a house or a family tribe, something that... It has um, earthly value, okay. So I call the divine with love and light. And here we see the Ten of Cups together with the Ten of Pentacles. So it seems like this person is very set on uh, uh, living in a committed relationship. Uh, maybe a family, having children, uh, building for the future, um, doing what the best they can to to build a legacy for themselves or a family name or a tribe or like leaving children after themselves when they leave this place. So it's that kind of energy. I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and we have a ten of wands, a queen of pentacles and a ten of pentacles. Uh, so it seems like it's a little bit hard for this person to obtain to find the right person uh, that is a match for them. Uh, it can um, uh, be that they have ideals uh, that no living person could ever live up to. Okay, so I call the six elements and here we have the chariot together with the ten of pentacles. So this person is going to stop at nothing and sacrifice uh, anything to get to where they want to go. Uh, so even if it turns out to be a mistake in the end, but... Uh, at least this person is very determined, so uh, we need to give them credit credit for that. <laughs> so six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Aries viewers. So I want my dear Aries to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny okay so i will just tune in for a few seconds to you and the person most on your mind and what this person would want to happen between you two so this is um uh, i had to enlight your candle it was um, trying to suffocate itself uh, so this is the uh, their most likely action that they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. This is their dreams on an emotional level, like what their heart wants to have happen between you two. And this is what's on their mind. And we have a three of pentacles, which is a very good sign. It shows uh, working on a goal, uh, cooperating, fixing things. And um, um, hmm, moon, ten of swords, ten of wands, seven of cups. 
uh, you might have had some <clears throat> something going wrong in your relationship here in the past and uh, this person wants to uh, either fix that or or try to um, make it better in the future but I definitely feel like they would want to fix it I'm feeling such a beautiful welcoming energy here uh, so they they see that horrible things have happened in the past painful things but this pain makes them feel uh, very uh, inspired <laughs> to put their best foot forward <laughs> okay and uh, this is on an emotional level ah king of cups <laughs> so it seems like this person is going to come with an offer so even if um um, there has been hell on earth in, in your relationship before. Uh, this person wants to fight for your love. They don't want to. Um, they're going to go down swinging, if I, I put it like that. Okay. And this is um, the most likely action. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups, The Fool, Ace of Swords. They, this person has made up their mind. Uh, they think that you would be the best match for them to be a committed partner uh, for the future. So either they want you as a love partner or this is um, maybe this is a family constellation. This person doesn't want to give you up or they want you to have or it's a friendship constellation. And this person wants to be your friend forever or have you as a friend forever. Uh, so they are ready to 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 fight for this. It's a little bit childish, a little bit naive. Uh, so they might not be super skilled, but they will do their best. And we can't ask for more than that. Uh, so on a minds level, we have a king of wands making a decision together with a hero font about commitment, family, legacy um, and uh, judgment. Uh, so this is a person that tries to be very grown up. They are made a grown up decision. They are not playing games anymore. Uh, they don't want to. Uh, screw up um, they they are trying to really grow into this situation and and do the very best they can and it's something I feel that has a connection with their angels or divine guides that they kind of don't want to make these <laughs> entities disappointed they are trying to live up to not only their own expectations but on, also heavenly or it might be moral expectations that the world in general have on us or it can be divine expectations and then we have an empress so um I'm feeling like finding a wife was what I hear, heard, but I try to not be gender too gender specific here. But definitely finding your life partner, the person you want to live with forever and uh, like making it having a second chance because this is the childhood and past life card. So it's about nostalgia and trying to get back what we have lost. So it seems like they think they have lost the most precious thing uh, in their life and they want to have it back. Uh, and since this is about what they want with you, they want to have you, you back. Um, they, they, they have made a decision that you are the one. It's very clear. So that's on the mind level. So it seems very sure on the mind level there. I can show you from above. Like that. Very many, many major arcana cards as well. Three here in the middle. And this is on an emotional level. And we have the Sun card, which is the highest card for love in the whole tarot deck. So it's about holy matrimony. Uh, two people that admit to truth and honesty and honor and self-love and wants to share uh, their time together. It's really about Jin and Jang becoming whole, becoming a unity. Uh, so it's not only about two people coming together, it's also about being whole inside yourself, being healed, which also King of Cups is talking about. So it seems like this person has gone through some kind of uh, healing experience. So the sun and the wheel. Uh, sun is 19, 1 plus 9, 10, the wheel. We also have one magician in that constellation. Uh, so it shows that this person has seen the truth. They have seen the light and wants to take a chance. They want to roll the dice. They are taking the bull by the horn. <laughs> we have Taurus here and um, making a go like they are prepared to take on challenges if necessary. And uh, the nine of cups, um, something has happened to this person here. 
it's um, I'm feeling like a tranquil relaxation it might have been that this person have been haunted by self-hatred in the past and I think they have started to put this to rest and and learning to love themselves so it's easier for them to love you uh, when they also love themselves so they are much more mature less hysterical less dramatic um, there will be less of escapism, <laughs> less of a lot of different things that's not good for anyone or it's not creating anything of lasting value anyway. Page of Wands, uh, message, messages, <laughs> messages and Four of Cups. Um, Four of Cups is the only little bit negative card in this. Uh, it's like this person have in some way, uh, they have a lot of hope, but they don't fully believe in it. And I want to understand why they don't fully believe in this. I think I will have this wisdom of the house of night. Why don't they? Can we clarify the four of cups movement? Ah, oh, they are scared to make a move. Okay, <laughs> I understand. They are very convinced, but like on their mind level and feeling like the hero and wanting to like really go and grab you. But then... Uh, there's some hesitation here. There's, they might be scared. Maybe they're scared about how you will react if they make a move towards you. This is a time uh, of change and movement and a symbol for wonderful surprises. If you have been waiting for something, you will soon have clarity. You will get answers you thought would never come. This might be you as well. And you will move closer to things that were out of reach before. Perhaps this card predicts a trip that you always wanted to take. The symbol for movement can indicate both a change of scene and a real shift in the direction of your life. No matter what this symbol holds for your question, knows that a wonderful change is now possible. This is a time to make your move. So I think that um, both people need to be kind of positive about this situation for it to manifest. It has all uh, possibilities to manifest. It's like right behind the curtain. But if both people don't bother looking behind the curtain, uh, like not, for example, not reaching out to each other, uh, then nothing will be. And uh, there's another element. It's sometimes with the um, Four of Cups, it comes an uh, element of being like the martyr. Uh, so uh, that would be them reaching out, for example, and you being a little bit martyr <laughs> and saying, no, there's no use. It was horrible relationship we had before. I'm saying, no, thank you. And really not meaning it. You rather want the person to beg on their knees and persuade you for a, a month or a couple of years. <laughs> so it, that kind of energy. Um, but I don't know if it's you that feels this way or if it's them that feels this way or both of you feel that this way. But there's a definitely possibility for a great solution inside this relationship. But someone needs to make a move and the other person needs to not be a martyr. Okay, so this is the most likely action and we have an action filled card here king of wands so very fiery here um so maybe <laughs> it's um leo aries sagittarius maybe all the fire energies um king of wands is usually leo uh, and uh, queen of wands is usually uh, aries but for the sake of harmony we need to have you in this reading too uh, so i definitely feel Aries energy there. They want to live up to your expectation. They're coming like a knight in fiery armor here <laughs> to show their passion. Uh, so it might be a little bit of a screw up sometimes, uh, but we have both wheel and judgment here to back this knight of wands up. So even if they don't know everything, um, they are keen to learn and open for adjustments to try again in a better way, for example. And here we have the magician. I said only the ma magician was missing here with the sun, the wheel. Magician is action. Uh, it's um, This is like knowing one's destiny, taking action. Okay. And the world card. Oh, lovely. Uh, 20, 21 and nine of cups. This person has been able to accomplish great things by working on self-love, forgiving themselves and letting go of the past, which have made them very grown up and they have made an, um, profound, um, a profound profound uh, uh, kind of step in their personal development. It's uh, like a quantum leap. 
And then we have Four of Wands, which is a marriage card. And then we have the Sulking Hermit here because it's a little bit sulking together with the Four of Cups. Uh, so the only um, the only uh, dirt in this cup is this Four of Cups and the Hermit. It's um, it's a person that might choose loneliness and isolation just because no, nah, it's no use. It's no, uh, and I don't think it's this person. So it must be. Uh, Aries that's giving up or if you are a cross watcher uh, for Aries this might be Aries and uh, and this are you or the other way around so um, we have Queen of Pentacles which is Virgo Virgo so I definitely think it's um, the person holding the feminine energy uh, here Empress Hermit uh, Queen of Pentacles uh, that is going that have lost hope okay and don't want to believe in this person's uh, blah 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 <laughs> it's like wow well, i don't uh, i don't trust you i don't believe in you okay uh, to clarify uh, we want to see what this person would want to say to you i have a lot of insecurities i think this is past tense they have had a lot of insecurities and this might have messed up uh, your relationship a lot in, in the past uh, but they have learn their lesson here to um, very a lot of pain uh, so i think they learned that insecurities doesn't pay off and therefore they have worked a lot on self-love and we have for me money is important uh, i think here as i said in the beginning they want to build some kind of legacy uh, so it might be this as well that they have certain demands and if you don't want to go with that if you don't want commitment if you um, would want to keep them on an arm's length distant and you know said that you want commitment first uh, in two years or ten years and that's probably not going to work for this person um, they don't want to waste more time uh, is what I'm feeling inside me I scream your name yes uh, this relationship for together with you is very important for them it's all there is for right now uh, so it's very don't uh, play the victim card uh, just to squeeze out uh, a little bit more reassurance from this person. Um, at this point, uh, try to be honest. Just be very, very honest with things. Uh, that, I think, will work best. Uh, if you say that, okay, I, I would love to believe what you are saying, but unfortunately, I don't. I'm prepared to give you a chance and to to prove yourself to me that you are serious this time uh, then i would willingly give it to you but i need to warn you that i don't trust a word that you're saying so that wouldn't be being a victim it would be being very truthful and honest if that's how you feel so it's an example and this is how you what you would want to say i miss you more than i want to admit so maybe don't not admitting it really here i played you yeah this is the warning uh, to not play this situation because if you were serious before the other person wasn't serious you might want to get a little bit leverage by not being particularly serious now but then it will just go on it's like uh, the vindictive spiral <laughs> one is taking revenge on this person they are taking revenge and then revenge and revenge and revenge and it never comes to a place of harmony and tranquility uh, we are a bad match so this might be what you are feeling and then i would uh, urge you to say no thank you to this person and mean it not saying no thank you because you want them to chase you more uh, or prove themselves to you so you can feel uh, more secure and more loved uh, don't use this card as a, um, a way to make this person jump through hoops for you i think um, there has been enough jumping through hoops maybe just from your side but if we are to have serious relationships we can't play these kind of games okay uh, so i also want to look at what the divine wants to say about the outcome for this relationship keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations uh, so try to keep an open mind study the other person uh, see what they can offer you don't immediately dismiss a person that's approaching you because um, it might be uh, a more serious future uh, with them than what you can perceive at this point 
I'm also going to take another advice card from the wisdom of the house of night self-worth yeah i think this person has worked a lot with self-worth and if the four of cups is you uh, you also need to work with this self-worth so you don't need need to get self-worth from someone else jumping to hoops or persuading you or anything like that you get your self-worth from yourself and then you spend your time with the people you choose to spend time with you don't need them to um, treat you in a specific uh, uplifting way to not uh, become the martyr okay when you draw this symbol you are asked to consider what value do you place on yourself in your life do you believe in yourself or do you behave in ways that tells others you are not worthy all my children act with self-respect no matter the circumstances they come from self-worth self-esteem mean that you will not allow yourself to be led into compromising situations which might be like circling back to becoming the martyr because you don't want to be used and abused by this person you don't want to believe what they are saying uh, and that's okay but then but don't be the martyr don't be like if this is your choice then you need to accept your choice and say no and mean no if you mean yes, uh, you need to choose the other option. I want to believe you, but I don't. <laughs> okay. Um, Self-worth means that you can be in a compromising situation or find yourself to be in a compromising situation and say no to it because you choose yourself. Not saying no because you feel hurt by the other person and wants them to improve. Um, that's not going to help. Improve your own life and and, and then better um, personalities <laughs> will approach you. Okay. Um, love yourself or I, Nix, love you dearly and want the best for you. Act as though you are worthy of only the best and you shall have it. Keep your head high. Uh, beautiful. Okay. Uh, so I would urge you to watch the reading their true thoughts and feelings for your sign in the true thoughts and feelings playlist or the love reading for May or June that will probably reveal more you can no June or July sorry that will probably re reveal more you can also watch what do they want to happen from previous month to get the development of this story from then till now and maybe get a deeper understanding. So until next time, take really good care and bye bye.